So if you've been on the internet for the past couple of days, you've probably seen the clip of Asmund Gold saying all the bad stuff and all the his beliefs about Palestine and Israel. Well, you might have also seen that he's gone banned for two weeks, or I think it was around 20 days, I'm not sure. And people are in outrage, because there's people similar to this, like Frogan, mainly Hassan Paiko, saying the exact same things. And they're not getting punished for it, just because they have a little daddy waddy sugar mummy in their Twitch HQ? So I don't understand why they're mad, but honestly, I'm not the type of guy to dabble in politics. Number one, I'm way too young for that stuff, and number three, it's just not my type of thing. Well, before we start off today's video, drum roll, please. We have reached 500 subscriberonies. I'm not really sure on what to call you guys yet, so if you have any ideas, just drop it in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for a f apple tizer. I love apple tizers, man. So I'm not going to waste much more of your time, let's go. So as you might have known, Asmund Gold got banned for making a statement about the Israel-Palestine war, and Frogan, not even a day later, she or this it's thing, I don't even know what it is. Basically, she made an insane statement on how US military soldiers do not deserve the treatment they get after war from all the PTSD they've suffered, and that they don't deserve any help at all, even though they fight for their country willingly. Now, of course, they never chose to go into the war. They never chose Palestine and Israel to have this war. But it just finds me sickening that you're a fat, lazy loser sitting in your house, enjoying the freedom that these soldiers give you. And you're just there saying, They don't deserve anything! Oh, I've done nothing to contribute to society except make wild claims while everyone in my chat goes real. Oh, I think that's a contribute, isn't it? No, it isn't! Your life is meaningless. Like, I'm sorry that I'm getting a bit rude here, but I honestly hate these type of people. These hypocrites. But anyways, I'm just going to show you the clip before I get too out of hand. I have no pity at all for any fucking soldiers. Distress, thank you so much. I will never have any fucking pity for any fucking soldiers. US military? Who fucking who? I hope you get PTSD. Alright, I just gotta pause the video there, because not even like about 20 seconds in. <laughs> this is your fandom. You're a little too anti-racist, to be honest. What, do you want it to be... Pro racist, he just wanted to start shouting slurs. <laughs> if this is your fandom, it says a ton about you. It, it, I mean, a ton. I, I do the ones I do, I the ones I'm like, whatever about the US soldiers are the ones that like acknowledge that like what they did was wrong, they didn't know well back, they didn't know back then. Whatever, you're you're a good person in my book. I'm like a Tom, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. The, the, the US military that are like, yeah, like. You know, I did this back then, but now I know it's wrong. Like, I'm changed. Like, fuck imperialism. Fuck this. You don't deserve the PTSD. But, like, any other motherfucker, you're joining them. You're like, oh, my God, I want my fucking Camaro. No student loans. Fuck you. Okay, this is a wild take. Because, yes, the USA soldiers do get, like, free health care, I think, and a Camaro. But they aren't that. They risk their lives. Like, imagine you're out there saying, oh, I'm just doing this for a Camaro. You must have to be foolish just to do that. And still, a Camaro is a cool car. I'm not going to lie. But still, saying they're worthless, even though they have been on that battlefield. They have attacked other people of other countries. And it's ironic that she's sitting there begging people for gifts and donations because she can't afford rent. And another thing I find funny is she has a counter on her screen about how many times people call her an egg. That's how badly you're hated. Now personally, this is a message to Frogan. I think she should honestly take all the hate into her heart and move out of, I don't even know where she lives, probably New York, that's why she's begging for rent. And keep in mind, she's done multiple things of the same nature in the past, and she hasn't got banned. Now, luckily, some good news I'm gonna say is she did get banned, and I'm gonna go on a whole rant about how she got banned and how she's taking it to her mind or whatever. But keep in mind, this is who Twitch partners. You think they take into careful consideration who they partner with, but apparently not. Now I'm going to go on to the next clip, yes this too, about Frogan reacting to her own clip, like how dry do you have to be to do that? And then she doubles down on what she says. I'm not making this up. She may have avoided it with the first clip very slightly, like 10%, maybe even one. But then she doubles down on what she said. She is deliberately cancelling herself and guess what they're still gonna be fans of her any other motherfucker you're joining them you're like, oh my god i want my fucking camaro no student loans fuck you i hope you get ptsd <laughs> i love how she's laughing like she thinks this is an insane amazing take and we're all laughing with her no we're laughing at you 
And I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into a fucking America. <laughs> and they posted it in my head, I'm like, ah, uh, base? Alright guys, I'm just gonna keep it clarificated here, I don't even know if clarificated is a word, but whenever I said base in the past, it was a joke because it's a meme word. She used it ironically, it's so over for her. It, it was over before it even began. Uh, base? <laughs> like, am I supposed to be, am I supposed to be like... Like, I'm not walking back on it. I still fucking agree with it. Aw, base. Alright, just a quick side reminder. There is people who actually, like, take this as a good take. There's people in chat calling her an idol saying, Well, take TBH. Like, bro. Now, the moment all of you guys have been waiting for. Drumroll, please. Again, for the second time in this video. Frogan has been banned. Yoo-hoo. Now, I would rather say this probably is like a one-day ban, but no, she has confirmed that it's a 20-day ban, and now she's having a big cry on the internet because people can't have an opinion on her. She's limited all her comments on Twitter. And also, like, three other creators got banned as well, who was like a part of this hate. I don't even know if it was hate. They were just ranking creators in a tier list. Now, I have no clue what the other three did, so I'm not going to talk about them. But if it's related with Frogan, it's probably around the same idea of what she did. Before I get into the places of why she's crying on Twitter, I'm going to state, like, everyone else getting mad at her on Twitter. So, number one, we have Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross basically just says what I said at the start, like, how dare you criticize these US soldiers if you literally live in the country they're protecting? What's the whole point of you being just a citizen of society? If you really don't want this, you should go back to your own homeland, blah, blah, blah. Now the kicks take Twitch, I don't know, rumbled it is now streamers they're basically calling her fat and it is pretty ironic that she was eating food while criticizing u.s soldiers that they fought for freedom so you can have that food by the way but now i'm going to go into a meltdown so she has her comments disabled so no one can even reply to her so she's essentially arguing with a brick wall now, she's arguing with this Ethan guy. I'm not going to go too deep into that because I don't want to lose just my sanity in the Twitter rabbit hole. But people are, like, clapping back on her because recently she's making the worst PR decisions of all time. Like, she makes this statement about Palestinian children not living in comfort because of these US soldiers. And then she goes to a concert and now everyone in the comments is contradicting saying, Oh, like, you're in a country that gave you freedom and you're doing this? Think of your ancestors back home or whatever. Now, I'm going to stop talking about Frogan for a bit. I'm going to move on to Hassan Piker and why everyone's calling him like a hypocrite. And why should he not... Why is Asmogol getting banned and Hassan Piker isn't getting banned for basically doing the exact same thing he did 24-7? Now, one of the worst things that Hassan Piker has done is that he's claimed that the October 7th like incident is not real in his book. Now, if you don't know the October 7th incident is, it was an attack against israelis where a ton of women got graped and a ton of children also got killed women men all got killed and he's technically saying nope didn't happen not enough proof uh this did happen in palestine though so he's completely ignoring the fact that this was a real accident which is respectively pissing off a ton of people because he's disregarding the 2000 or so lives that died in that accident not even accident incident and the second one, I can't even make this up, he went live with a terrorist who steals boats and from innocent people and keeps them hostage and then they have to give him a certain amount of money to get set free so they can live without dying. Now, he in this live stream, he was glazing him, he said, do you know One Piece, bro? You're Luffy. Th this isn't a good point to be making when this guy's killed people and you have him on your live stream actively promoting this type of behavior. Now, at the time of this recording, Hassan Piker has not been banned because if Hassan Piker gets banned, about 50% of the Twitch's, like, population goes away because for some reason people actually watch that dude. And Frogan, like, I understand I'm being a bit hypocritical here since I'm doing commentary, but all they do is sit there for 8 hours a day talking about just politics. It's, I, it might, it's not my cup of tea, but I just find that insanely boring. But, yeah, that's about the video. I love you guys. Uh, thank you for 500 subscribers. And...